Hey guys, what's up? So I have a request from Barter2056. He wants to know how to make his website, or any website, like Chris Pirillo's and mine. So first off, I want to say that this website is run by WordPress. It's a self-hosted WordPress blog, though. What I mean by self-hosted is that not on WordPress.com. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to download WordPress. So download WordPress, download WordPress 2.9. But before we download, we're going to make sure we already have a hosting account set up. If you want a free hosting account, I recommend you go to x10hosting.com. It gives you free hosting, it's pretty good speed. Um, this is what you get with your free hosting. So you get 2.5 gig, uh, gig space, which is, that's pretty, that's good. A lot of hosting will only give you like 100 megabytes. So you get free subdomains, you got, also, you want to make sure you have MySQL and FTP enabled. If you don't have that, you won't be able to install WordPress on your blog. So create your account, log in. We also have WordPress ready, and we're going to unzip that. While it's unzipping, I'm going to create a new subdomain called demo, just so I can demo this for you guys. We're also going to want to set up our FTP client. For me, it's Cyberduck, and I already have everything configured. If you have a control panel that allows you to easily install blog services such as WordPress, you could easily do that as well instead of having to download it. For example, if I went here and I went to soft aculos, it's going to load up and I could do blogs, WordPress. I could easily install WordPress on here and it knows it'll create a database for me and everything. But instead of that, I'm going to teach you guys how to do it the harder way if you don't have this easy install. First, we're going to use our FTP account and we're going to make sure we have it configured. So this is mine right here, Billy Red. Yep. So. I already have that configured on my Cyberduck. Uh, obviously, I already have my website loaded right here. And another thing we're going to want to do is we're going to create a database for MySQL. So hit MySQL databases, and we're going to create a new database. I'm going to name this one WP. Actually, I already have Billy Red WP, so I'm going to delete that. Go back. All right. So we're going to create another database called WP. And create it. All right. So we just created another database. Now for Billy Red WP, we're going to create a user. So this user is going to be demo and password. Create user. and go back okay so now we have we have that but we want to add this demo to a certain um, database so we're gonna add demo to the WP and we're gonna have all privileges that way we can easily do our WordPress blog okay so go back now what we're gonna do is we're gonna head into our documentation I guess you could say or a folder for WordPress what we're going to look for is we're gonna look for con config sample so open up config sample with either a PHP editor or text edit right now I'm just gonna do a text edit because I don't feel like opening up a whole program now we're gonna scroll down here and we're going to put in our database name, our username, and our password. Localhost should be default. So that you shouldn't have to change that. What's my database name? My database name is 
Billy Red underscore WP username Billy Red underscore demo. My password, which I will have to black out. Okay, so now that we have everything filled out, we're going to do file, save as, and we're going to take out sample. So it's going to be wconfig, and we're going to do .php. Make sure it does not say use a text. So we're going to hide extension. If no extension is provided, use text. We're not going to use text. We need it to be PHP. Save. So now you can quit this. And if you go into WordPress folder, you should have a wp-config file, .php. So we have that. Now our next step is going to Cyberduck. Look for our subdomain, which is in my public HTML demo. That's my subdomain. You will not always have a subdomain. You, it could be your full site. In my case, I've already created my full site, so I'm not going to override it. And we're going to 